Hi, I'm Mark Perpetua from Reptile Encounters, and along with my friends from Hudson Valley Reptile and Rescue, we're talking reptiles. And today we have another species spotlight for you. Now we're going to look at the rat snake, specifically the eastern rat snake. Eastern rat snakes are found from up here in the Hudson Valley of New York, all the way down along the east coast into the deep south of Florida. But what's really interesting about them is they show different color variations throughout different parts of their range. Right here we have a little hatchling. This snake is just over a week old. And all rat snakes have this grayish pattern with, with dark markings when they're younger. As our northern rat snakes grow, that pattern becomes darker and darker with every shed, and by the time they're three feet long, they're uniformly black, with just a little hint of the pattern underneath. And that's why we call them black rat snakes up here in the north. As you go further south, there is another variation that starts out like this, but eventually turns yellow with black pinstripes. They're known as the yellow rat snake, and they range from the Carolinas down into central parts of Florida, maybe a little further south. But today I want to show you a snake that comes from the Florida Everglades and is specifically known as a variation called the Everglades Rat Snake. Everglades Rat Snakes, like all rat snakes, are excellent climbers, so we kind of got her hanging out in the tree behind us. Let me go ahead and grab her. There she comes. And she'll just use my arm like it's an extension of the branch she's climbing in. And, okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea, but we'll get her untangled. There we go. She's using her prehensile tail to hold on. She wasn't sure what we were going to do. But the Everglades rat snake has a beautiful orange color to it. Like the yellow rat snake, it develops a pinstripe pattern. But just look at that color. Beautiful yellow underneath her neck, orange color throughout most of its body. And this is a snake that'll grow to nearly six feet in length, maybe a little larger. Like all rat snakes, with a little gentle handling, they can become really docile. This snake doesn't get handles quite as often as I'd like to, so she still needs a little bit of work, as you can see her nervous attitude here. But let's talk a little bit about why she's biting. Not being handled often, she's in defense mode. She's not sure what we're gonna do. We just took her out of a tree, and that's something that's important to note on any wild snake species. Snakes do not bite just because they can or want to. If that was the case, she would have bitten me in the nose a long time ago. But backing her up, making her nervous because my hand is moving quick, is just something that she's letting me know she'll defend herself if at all needed. But once she realizes the threat is gone, she drops the attitude. And as her name implies, rat snakes eat a lot of rodents. Mice, chipmunks, small rats, and when they're larger, of course, large rats, and that can be very beneficial in the environment because mice and rats multiply so quickly without predators to keep their numbers in balance, then these prey items would, would of course, become larger problems as pests, uh, eventually run out of food for themselves. There's a whole bunch of things that can go wrong when the food chain becomes unbalanced. And if you wonder about, well, what about other predators? Well, look at snakes, they're legless. They get in places that other predators cannot. Not just on the ground, but even in the trees. This snake is gonna be able to hunt animals that hawks, owls, coyotes, and bobcats aren't gonna be able to reach. But uh, as far as catching its prey, that's another reason they have a bite. Snakes have about 100 needle sharp teeth, and even this little rat snake can give a little sting if you felt it. And those 100 needle sharp teeth are for grabbing onto their prey. They are constrictors, but they do have to grab their prey first. That whole tale of a snake sizing up its prey, that really isn't true, because if they took the time to lay alongside it and eye it up, 
their prey is going to get away and not stick around to find out what happens next. So they'll classically sneak up on an animal, grab it, and once they have it, even from within a tree, using that tail to hold on, they can constrict and sometimes can even be seen swallowing their prey while dangling from a branch. So today's spotlight, once again, was the Everglades rat snake. Very similar to the black rat snakes we see around here, just a lot more comfortable and uh, a lot more colorful. And it is an animal that is just worth mentioning for those of you who enjoy our rat snakes, seeing the diversity of the rat snake group down the East Coast. So thank you for watching today's Species Spotlight. And uh, don't forget to keep coming back. Leave your comments. Tell us what you want to see because we're going to continue talking reptiles. Thank you.